What is going on guys that call me Epi? Welcome to another video on the channel today. Today we're gonna talk about the open beta. I just ended today at 6 a.m. Eastern time. I played a lot of it and I hope most of you guys, if not all of you guys, got a chance to jump in and really get a feel for what Wildlands is going to be like on March 7th. So I just wanted to start this off by saying that not a lot, to my surprise and to a lot of other people's surprise as well, not a lot has changed from the closed beta to the open beta. As much as everybody wants to think that the vehicles were gonna be super improved and the physics were gonna be changed. Of course, among other things, that's absolutely not the case at all. So you guys are going to be super disappointed if you were coming into this beta thinking that they could change, flip the whole game upside down in a week or two's time between the two betas. So I'm going to leave the patch notes, the full list of changes that they've stated have been improved upon uh, since the two betas. Check them out for yourself, guys, by all means. I was surprised to see that vehicles weren't really touched at all. No helicopter control changes, no driving mechanics, nothing was stated in this these patch notes. That's not to say it's not coming upon full release, but a lot of players disappointed and upset that their cars aren't driving as fluidly as GTA or Battlefield. It didn't bother me so much personally. I got used to the mechanics, but I could see where improvements could be made. If you play the beta on PC, please comment below what your experience was like as they have stated a few optimization issues were addressed, but I'm sure they weren't all hashed out completely. So again, let me know how that experience was for you. But the last improvement that they've made, and I wanted to talk about this throughout the rest of this video because difficulty level was something that it was the biggest complaint, honestly, from the closed beta to the open beta. So coming into Montuyak, which was a five skull difficulty province, I really had high expectations for Montuyak, and for the most part, it did deliver, and, and I did get my ass kicked on the easiest difficulty setting, uh, recruit or arcade, whatever it was. I'll update you guys with a new video about the updated difficulty settings and, and content that they changed, but for the most part, I was pretty happy with the experience that I had on multiple occasions of getting whipped in teams of four with my buddies, and it made me think of the difficulty cap that Wildlands does have for PvE content. So if you look at Montuyak, it's a five skull difficulty province, and keep in mind that the gameplay that you experienced during this open beta, if you did have it on the highest difficulty setting while you were playing in this area, that's the highest it's gonna go. That's the hardest Wildlands is gonna get. Montiak was five stars, five skulls. You can't get any harder than that. Of course, there's gonna be some variation between provinces and there might be more cartel or you need to add outposts and encampments throughout the regions, but for the most part, what we played in Montiak is an indication of how extreme this game is gonna feel at the end of the day. And I know you could turn the HUD off and I'm gonna talk about my experience with that in another video. Of course, you could turn the HUD off for a really hardcore experience with the game and it totally adds another layer of gameplay here that it's really unmatched but I guess the question that I'm asking here and that I'm anticipating is are these five star regions hard enough for you? Are they challenging enough for you? Without turning the HUD off of course because you can turn the HUD off on any difficulty in any region and the game automatically changes so tell me about your experiences in Matuyak where the missile guided launcher locked on helicopter dodging waving weaving whatever the AI patrols all the alarms going off I mean Matuyak Matuyak was tough. It was definitely difficult, but again, let me know if you guys thought that it was enough to keep you guys interested. For me, the answer to that question is sometimes yes and sometimes no. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So much more Ghost Recon content coming your way. I appreciate all the support. I have been Ampy. I will see you guys on the next video.